So first, let's look at waterfall. So waterfall is a sequential and non-iterative process. So sequential means that there's a series of steps and those steps will all occur in a specific order. So um, generally speaking, for waterfall projects, you document everything up front. You might then hand that off to um, uh, designers who will put front end pictures on all of that. Then it'll go to developers who actually build the interfaces, testing and then release. And importantly, it is non-iterative. You are never going to repeat any of those phases. It is, you do all of your documentation up front, and that is it, the documentation phase has ended. If you're going to do any more documentation, that goes through as a change request. Um, then you do all of your design, and if you make a mistake in design, too bad, it's done. It's all, all finished. Um, so whilst it may sound like uh, that, that's quite restricting, Waterfall does have some awesome fa um, parts to it. It's very, very clear on outcomes. Waterfall generally comes with a really clear declaration of what it is that this system is supposed to do in its fullness, like not looking at what it's going to do tomorrow, but what it's going to do when the system is complete. It's good for sign-off between a large number of stakeholders. If you're trying to work with a, a large number of people, you need to maximise the communication between them and kind of get them all on the same page and all in agreement that they're going to spend the money or that they're, they're happy to go down this path. And Waterfall, because it does all of its documentation and such up front, is really, really good for that. It is a benefit. It forces decisions early. Now, this has pros and cons, but if you have a limited budget and you're working in a Waterfall manner, it can actually make you think, can we afford all of this? Do we have to narrow our scope? And it actually thinks, it makes you think about how you're going to roll out the whole project rather than thinking of it iteratively. Yeah, iteratively. Pros and cons to that, of course. And it allows for estimation or better estimation and quoting upfront by pr bringing all of the, some of these are controversial, um, bringing all of the documentation together. There is an argument that says then you have a better idea of all the pieces that are in the um, project and you can produce a more accurate um, estimate or quote based on that. And it remains stable, which is really good for large teams. If you're working, you know, say in the kind of, in the IBM space, you've got hundreds of people involved in a project. You actually need a process that remains stable and that people aren't going to find changing on them day to day because then you need a change manager just to get your processes you know, updating. You couldn't do agile in a massive team because just the overhead of keeping the process updated would be too high. Downsides to waterfall though, humans can be pretty bad at thinking of the full picture up front. It's a fact we're not able to hold, as Ben said, you can't hold a complex system of certain size in your head all at once. So thinking through edge cases can be a bit of a pipe dream. The larger the project, the more scope there is for change. The larger the number of change requests that are likely to go through, the larger, um, and unless you leave enough buffer in your, uh, in your budget, if you're working, if your initial spec is all up to your budget, you're gonna find change very, very difficult. There's no ability to change the product to meet a changing market. You're a year into your, uh, into your development cycle, someone releases a product that is exactly what you were going to do. You don't have an ability to pivot, you don't have an ability to change what you're doing because you know, your process is sequential. And it doesn't allow you to change the process itself if you spot areas for improvement. You actually have to, you know, even if you have found uh, an area for improvement, the process has already moved on beyond the point that you found that, uh, that change. You can make the change, but you're never going to revisit it again.